Hello there and welcome back to another Rumours and Releases. That's right, it's already nearly the end of February, which does mean the March releases are around the corner. And whilst we're on the topic, last month's Rumours and Releases, the January to February crossover, the day that my video came out, LEGO then released all the Star Wars sets for March the 1st. We've got the Tantiv, we've got R2, we've got the three MIDI ships. I think the Tantiv and R2 we did have images of, but definitely not the MIDI scale ships. Now, I am sorry to say that they will not be featured in this video because they're coming out March 1st alongside a bunch of 21 LEGO builds, which first off, for a March release, is lovely. So thank you to LEGO for all the amazing sets that are going to be hitting store shelves March the 1st. But you're going to have to stick around for that, so do make sure you are subscribed because we are so close to hitting 700 subscribers by the end of the month. And I know these videos usually do pull through with subscribers, so if we can get the required subs to hit 700 when this video goes out, honestly, that I think will make my whole month. So thank you all for your support. Nearly 700 is still a big number, and we are still trying to hit 1,000 by May. So if you would like to subscribe, please do. If you find yourself sticking around, you might as well hit subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome lego content but straight into the video now as i said there are a bunch of sets that are coming out march 1st that have recently been announced within the last month or so you can see there are some f1 cars there are some ninjago there's even a few harry potter sets that are coming out and they all look really really cool but again this is a separate video coming out march the 1st which does include all of the star wars sets i'm just going to take a closer look more in depth at all of these sets and as you can see i've actually added them to a wish list to make it easier now there are some sets coming out a little after these around march 4th i believe and one of those is the snow white and seven dwarfs cottage now we will be looking at this in the march 1st video as well but I think this and one other are big enough sets that I'd also like to cover them in this video. As you can see, the cottage looks pretty cool. In fact, it does look like an idea set that I will put on the screen. And though it comes out March 4th for public, it does, in fact, as you can see on your screen, come out the first four LEGO Insiders. Honestly, it's free to purchase, so you might as well be saying it comes out the first. But if you aren't signed up to LEGO Insiders, be sure to go over to LEGO and check it out it's free it gives you some cool rewards and there are a few different bundles you can put yourself in for so it's really nice but this set i mean it looks great it's only one side of the build which does differ from the idea set and i think that's why they've bought it out under the disney range rather than lego ideas because lego ideas builds tend to be as far as i'm aware a 360 building which would mean they just have to have a lot more pieces to get it this size and that would definitely drive up the price. However, not only does it come with a few animals like squirrels, birds, rabbits, of course, it's a Snow White cottage. It had to come with a bunch of animals. And you've also got the little pod here that Snow White does sleep in. I'm not really sure what you'd call it. And a nice little well build as well as all these trees, which honestly don't really disappoint with Lego anymore. The trees that they are making are really cool. But the big grab of this set is the 10 minifigures you can see we've got all seven dwarfs with i mean there's a few molds for even the hats there which is really cool a load of different faces which represent each of the dwarfs pretty well and they've each got their own accessories we've of course got the wicked witch here and snow white and prince charming which i believe snow white and prince charming have come out before i think they were featured recently in disney castle but if you didn't manage to pick that up this is a great way to get both the minifigures so they haven't cut back on any of the minifigures and i do think that is also a reasoning behind the 190 pound price tag of course all the other prices will be on the bottom of your screen but they've definitely included enough bricks and minifigures that it goes hand in hand normally we see big builds with one two maybe a handful of minifigures or vice versa a bunch of minifigures in not too great lego builds which always drives up the price one way or another but it's nice that 190 pound the 10 minifigures that's quite decent for the minifigures and i'm sure the piece count 2228 also goes quite well with that you'd expect about 220 pound of pieces and i'd say about 200 pound of minifigures so i'm quite happy that it is at that cheaper price tag of course looking at the roof there are a few smaller pieces in this set so 
it makes sense it's under that 200 price but overall i'm quite happy with this set now another set coming out march the 4th which again is open for insiders from the first so i'm sure if any of you will be picking this up you'll probably be picking it up on the first but this is the medieval town square based on one of the older sets we've already touched upon this on the channel but not only does it come with a few different buildings they're not as colorful as the last one but they're still quite colorful you can see there is the white building here there is red here because we've got that red and yellow flag for the lion knights so whilst a load of people fair enough would like a blue building rather than a red because a red is quite likely especially depending on the materials they're building out and all the paints they're using i can see why people would like a bit more color in this set they're all sort of sticking to the same color palette as many of the other sets we've seen pretty recently especially from the knights section but this set does come with this great goat here which it's really cool to be getting a second goat of the year. This is the first big Lego set that you can pick it up. I class the CMFs as a set in their own right, but they are just minifigure series. So it makes sense that a load of people are excited to see the goat back in a set. I'm sure this grey one will probably be whacked in a city set sometime soon. I don't really see it being exclusive, but it is exclusive for now as of this set coming out on March 1st, March 4th, whenever you are able to pick it up. And it's quite a nice piece to get exclusive. Of course, a callback to the original from this. It's not quite an exact remake, but I think it is close enough. And there's a bunch of different interiors to a open back build, which I do quite like the open back build because £200 is a lot of money, especially for more casual LEGO fans. This is definitely aimed at collectors. It's part of the Icons range, that does make sense. But... The open back just enables that price to stay a bit lower and when we're looking at all the minifigures that are included in this again i wouldn't necessarily say that there are too few minifigures so it's done quite nicely and of course we get not only the goat for sale which is possibly the funniest reference we have found in a lego set today of course the previous being the missing goat posters but now there's a great goat will the old goat reduce in value because people can get their hands on not only a gray goat but a white goat for only three pound fifty using the technique from my video so if this is a reference to the goat's price drop in of course lego have bought brick link they're well aware of price changes based on what they're releasing this is the best reference to date but that is all of the releases again stick around there'll be another video now we're getting into the rumors and there are some really juicy rumours, especially if you're a Star Wars fan, so stick around. I'll do the gift with purchases at the end, and we know quite a few for May 4th already. So this is going to be a jam-packed video, and it's not just Star Wars gift with purchases. There are some make and takes I'd like to cover, which I don't see many people covering. It's free Lego. What is there not to like? It's definitely one of the best parts about going to a lego store alongside buying lego i guess you've got the pad wall you've got the build a minifigure but you've also got make and takes and i think we'll get them out of the way just so you know what's up so first up we've got this lego animal crossing fauna house which will be available 10 a.m to 12 on the 9th of march and 12 p.m to 2 p.m on the 10th so it's a nice gift with purchase of course march is the release of the animal crossing theme and if you're able to wait the nine, 10 days and make yourself to a Lego store around this time, of course, you can call up just to make sure they are competing in this event. But it is quite a nice free build to get alongside your purchases. And perhaps you can't wait this long. And next weekend, there is another make and take for Mothering Sunday for Mother's Day here in the UK. And that is the Mother's Day photo frame, which is available 10 till 12 on the 2nd, which is the Saturday and on the Sunday the 3rd, 12pm till 2pm. It's a nice frame, you can slot a picture in there. It's not too sizable, but there are some decent pieces. And again, it's free Lego, so it's not going to cost you anything. Of course, whilst you're there, their aim is you pick up a set or two, or at least build some minifigures with whoever you're with. But it is completely free, first come, first serve. So head down to your nearest Lego store. And it's got to be an official Lego store, not just a store selling Lego, though. Do keep an eye out, because... 
some of these trickle out to other shops such as Smith's and Entertainer here in the UK. So definitely keep an eye out if you see them in there. Now, I think we'll get the Star Wars ones out of the way because they are my favorite theme from Lego. Of course it is. I am a big Star Wars fan. I'm even wearing my Star Wars top for this video, which is very fitting. But the first one comes from the buildable droid cut which is meant to be very similar to the other sets we've got you can see bd one's buildable figure up there it's meant to come with an information plaque it's meant to come with a stand for the droid car and it's also meant to come with a miniature droid car which will be really interesting to see what they have i think lego have released four or five other droid builds so far so it'll be interesting what they take from each of them because each of them are vastly different. I mean, they've been released sort of three, four years in between each of the Droidicas. I think the last one didn't even come with a set. They just added a poly bag to a magazine and called it a day. We never even saw it again. And I think that would be good enough to add to this set, though. It will be disappointing if they do not add anything. I'd love to see some sort of new molded piece for the Droidica itself. Of course, the pieces that Lego tend to use are pretty good enough and we tend to have... Pieces like the Wolverine claws being the eye sensors and the 1x4 slopes for the back. But if they could give us just one molded piece or perhaps put a few of the newer Lego bricks that we've had since the last one came out, which was still quite a few years ago, probably about five years ago, it'd be really nice to see what they change with the Droidica. Now, the next rumour is for the Brickheads collection, which we're expecting to see Jar Jar Binks, Darth Maul, Padme Amidala in her queen robes, which we'll get to in a minute. Qui-Gon, Podracer Anakin, and Captain Panica. Jar Jar, Maul, Padme, Qui-Gon, Anakin, and Captain Panica. That's six minifigures. Last year, we got five, and two of them were the Ewok. I think it was Wicket. And we also got another small one. Perhaps we got R2-D2 for the May 4th Brickhead. So... They were able to sell that for 40 quid. We got three full size, two half size, which the half size ones aren't exactly half size. They're more like three quarters, four fifths of the size. But it's nice for Lego to have that reduced price because we're not getting some massive figures. I mean, Jar Jar Maul, Padme and Qui-Gon and Panica are still full size figures. So I think if this retails for about 50 quid, that's a great price because you're basically getting Anakin for free. I mean... We got a Hogwarts collection, which I think there were only four professors for. And that was nearly 50 quid. That might have been £45. Don't hold me to that. But that was pretty expensive. So if we could get all six of these for 50 quid, that is another great set. I am still a bit gutted that I didn't pick up the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi Brickheads last year. But the only Brickhead space we have is up there. And i just don't have enough space to have a bunch of brickheads so if they could sell them perhaps individually later down the line i think that would be a good way for people that didn't pick up the full collection to then pick up the brickheads they want but they're fully aware that you can just part out the bricks on bricklink and i don't think it's in their greatest interest to do so i'll definitely have to look out for the queen amadala brickheads because that is one that I'm definitely interested in parting out. It's a bit like the Endor Leia, which honestly I think was the best one last year. And at some point I definitely want to part that out too. But of course the reason they've chosen this Queen Amidala. It doesn't really fit in with Jar Jar, Maul, Qui-Gon, Podracer, Anakin. They're all Tatooine based figures. And Amidala doesn't actually wear the Queen robes on Tatooine. Because she has one of her handmaidens filling in for her. So... The reason they've chosen the Queen Amidala figure is definitely because of the Lego minifigure, which is worth a lot, a lot of money. It wasn't in the top 10 when I did my video, which did sort of surprise me, but I'm definitely sure it is very, very close. Perhaps it's the 11th most expensive Star Wars minifigure, excluding all of the different Chrome variants that really you can't put a price on. Now, the next set rumour we have it's very similar to the mock I've just made. If you haven't seen my mock Esper, which is a mock I've made of the Moss Esper pod race. And we're meant to be getting a diorama for it. Not quite my size. My set was 48 by 48 studs. Massive. It actually depleted my stud collection. 
you could probably see the empty draw there from all my studs going. This is going to be more like the older dioramas we've seen for the Endor Speeder. And actually, I'm not quite sure if the Endor Speeder is the same, but it's roughly about 16 by 24 studs, which you can see with my remake of the UCS Moss Isley Cantina, Chalman's Cantina, which honestly... I think is a great way to go. I did enjoy buying and building the entire Moss Isley until I had to store it. I had nowhere to store it. It didn't fit on that unit behind it. Would have if I got rid of the middle beam as I have now, but it didn't at the time. And it just sat on my desk, taking up space, meant I couldn't really build much. And actually, that was the set that got me back into Lego. So it was an amazing set and I definitely don't regret buying it, but... I'd have much preferred a diorama at a much more expensive price with the minifigures that it came with. Lego would never have given us that many minifigures for that little set, but it would have been really cool to get. Anyway, back to this pod race diorama before I get too distracted. It's meant to depict the scene where Anakin and Sebulba go through the Arch Canyon, which if you look at the trench run specifically, an old diorama that LEGO Star Wars have released, and it's got the side of the trench with the X-Wing, and I think there were two TIEs and Vader's TIE flying behind Luke's Red 5. It matches the feel of that set. You're going to have the sandy bank of the canyon with the actual wall of the canyon behind it, and Anakin and Saboba whizzing past, perhaps going the same direction as the X-Wings, and... That set, I'm sure, did sell well when the Trench Run came out. This set, I'm sure, is going to sell just as well. 70 quid, if there's no minifigures, it might be a bit expensive. But this is the perfect opportunity to whack in one of the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars minifigures. I know we've already got Maluk in R2-D2. It was a bit similar to that. And people are going to be buying this set for the minifigure because that minifigure is going to be worth half of what the set is anyway. And even if people just spend the 70 quid and end up parting it out down the line, at least they've got all the pieces that come with it for only probably 30 quid. I think the cheapest diorama goes for an average about 60 quid. We're getting a few 90 quid ones. I don't see this being a 90 quid diorama. It's not going to be big enough, especially the set of diorama it comes with. You've got Anakin and Sir Bulba's pod racer. It's definitely going to resemble the trench run, but for the Phantom Menace, which would be really cool to see. Now, we've also got supposedly an image of the Keller and Beck minifigure. I'm not really sure where this has come from, but allegedly Keller and Beck is just going to come with an updated design to the Mace window, torso and legs, of course, without Windu's white boots and just a bit of gold around the top of his costume, which represents Keller and Beck quite well. All Jedi robes seemingly are the same, so to add... That little detail that makes the sabered hand stand out from the rest of the Jedi would be cool to see. Again, I can't wait to see official images of this. It's coming up to March, which means we're only two months away from them May 4th releases. I know I say May 4th releases, but I'm sure they'll be coming out May 1st. It's just easier to relate to Star Wars if I say May 4th. Now, there are a few new themes we're rumoured to be getting, such as Wednesday, Wicked and Fortnite. Now... Wednesday and Wicked are meant to have mini dolls and Fortnite's meant to have mini figures, which I think is quite a nice way of distinguishing them. Wicked is more along the Disney line, I see, which are mostly mini dolls besides the expensive Disney castles and something like the Snow White Cottage. But they mostly stick to mini dolls. And as for Wednesday, I guess they think it would appeal to the same people as by the Friends and mini doll sets, which... It's something they've obviously put a lot of work and time into and I don't really know. I guess it does make sense if it was a one-off set, it would make sense to be minifigures and perhaps be along the ideas, icons line. But if they are doing a full wave of them, it's nice to get a few more sets that have the mini doll figures because it also allows for people collecting sets such as the Lego Friends line to be able to customise their minifigures a bit more than just using the ones within their own theme. Now, not only does Fortnite have minifigures, but it's also seeming to tap into the 18 plus line with an adult aimed set possibly in the works. And alongside this, Fortnite is seemingly going to be like the Monkey Kid sets where you can only buy them in a Lego store, which does make sense. It's a Lego Fortnite partnership. So seeing them sold in other stores doesn't really make as much sense. And again, it gets more people to the Lego store. There are a few promos just to reel you in and go to the pick a brick wall, go to the build a minifigure. And as we said earlier, 
the three make and takes are definitely a reason to go there on them days the only real rumor from marvel this month is for the milano which is meant to be getting a remodel. This is the Guardianship, one of the three, I know. But we've recently got, I believe, the first and the third ship in a really sleek design on the stand, like the Avengers Quinjet, and we're yet to get the Milano, which I think is the second ship. It's meant to include the whole gang, Star-Lord, Gamora, Rocket, Raccoon, Drax, and Gru, and again, it'd be really awesome to see pictures of this because they're not going for a midi scale like with Star Wars, which... For Star Wars, the ships are massive. It's along the lines of them bringing out a heli carrier in the same MIDI scale as I think they already did many, many years ago as a Comic-Con exclusive, I think that one was. But I can't wait to see images of this because I really do like how the Marvel theme do their ships and especially with all the stands that come with it, it'd be nice to get for a few Star Wars models. Now, a surprise rumour this month is from the Minecraft theme, which is meant to be giving us an 18 plus adult aimed crafting box which you might remember they did a few micro sets initially for minecraft which came with little mini figures and it's meant to be somewhat similar to that it's meant to have two sides representing a crafting table and then if you were to turn it around the other two sides would have some micro theme that is even smaller than the original because the original stacked up i think five plates or it was like a brick and two plates on top Whereas I'm sure this is just going to be a bunch of studs stacked and they tend to stick to two, maybe three studs for minifigures. So I wouldn't be surprised if it is just the three studs. You've got the leg, torso and head and some different scenes from around the Minecraft world. Of course, I'm sure we're going to get some above land, but where you've got all that space in the height of the crafting table, we're definitely going to get some little mine scenes and it's meant to include a bunch of minifigures. So I think we can be expecting Steve, Alex perhaps some zombies, skeletons, creepers, and again, I just can't wait to get an official image. Now, we also have a rumor of a brand new Lego house exclusive set, which is meant to be 40505 building systems, which includes the three different building systems of Lego. Of course, you've got Duplo, then you've got Lego's system, which is the typical bricks that we used to use in a lot more than the other two here on the channel and then we also have technic and it's meant to represent the free in a sort of diorama of its own now i won't be showing images because like with everything else here i'd rather wait for lego to announce the official images and check that out because their releases really are quite something but it's meant to include duplo lego system and lego technic which does cover all grounds and will be exclusive to the Lego house. So I'm not expecting to pick this up. If you are over by the Lego house, it's definitely going to be a cool collector's item. I don't know how long this will be selling for, but if it's anything like the T-Rexes, which I'm pretty sure you can still pick up today, and the giant pirate figure, which again is still on shelves, this will probably either replace one of them, most likely the dinosaurs, or just keep running until really no one's picking it up i guess now i've also found out that the three different builds that are meant to be included are based on older models you've got 810 which is a lego city which seems to be the system section of the diorama you've got 853 which is an early technic car and then you've got 2705 which is again an early duplo train so it's nice to see lego paying homage to all of the older lego sets and it's a pretty cool collector's piece if you've got the room for to display now we're on to the promos the gift with purchases and we do have one for march so i will reinstate this in that video but we've got to cover it today to get ahead and so you know what to prepare for march 1st and that is this here flower store, which will be coming out at March 1st. It's rumored to have a threshold of £170 or $200. And that is spends on anything across the Lego store. This will be running from March 1st to March the 10th. And at the same time, March 1st to the 10th, there is a $50 or £45 threshold on Friends, Animal Crossing, Creator, City and Dreams to get the new Animal Crossing poly bag and a lego friends poly bag so if you manage to spend 200 dollars or 170 pound on lego and 50 odd quid includes friends animal crossing creator city or dreams you end up getting three promos on the first of march which is pretty cool if you want to pick up a few of the new animal crossing sets 
Now, as you can see, this flower shop does look similar to the Houses of the World promos as well. Similar size box, similar size build at that, and it does include a different font for the front of the florist. You can see just down to the left here, but it looks really cool, the detail that they've managed to get into this size of a build. And again, if you're already spending that much on Lego, it's a cool build to get for free with that, of course. I don't think it's worth spending that extra money unless you have collected all of the houses of the world but it seems to also have a nice door piece here and as it gives you a spare piece for the front of the florist i think these are printed pieces and not stickers otherwise i just think they'd give you the one piece with the two stickers now that isn't the only promo news we've got because we also have a look thanks to fateful at the new easter gift with purchase again i can't put images on the screen until we get this confirmed from lego themselves but i will say it does look like one of the best ones we are getting there's a poly bag coming out in march that's already been announced and that is a bunny with colorful eggs poly bags i can put an image of that on the screen for you and the bunny is a lot closer to the birthday poly bag which is just down here with the penguin and the elephant so i'll whack up an image of that one on screen we're getting a bunny and a chick and the house for this previously we've seen a cardboard house where the box is turned into the egg or something like that but this time it's built out of actual lego bricks and the house itself resembles an egg it looks really cool if it is a gift with purchase it's definitely going to be worth quite a high threshold but this could also possibly be a set at the minute it is rumored to be a promotion as it is given the number 40682 but then again we've seen the carnival set released and that looks like it should be a gift with purchase but it's coming out march 1st now i've made you stick around till the end of the video for the star wars may 4th promos and i do apologize if i've said march and meant may or vice versa because I do get the two confused very, very easily. But first up, we've got 40686, which is meant to be a battle droid carrier. I think it's not going to be based off the set we got about 10 years ago, which was really cool. And I did actually pick that one up. I think it's going to be more based on the first droid battle pack, which would go very nice with the new 2024 battle pack we got in January. And it just makes sense because it carries on the sort of clone wars line of sets with all the droids but it's aimed around the phantom menace which of course is celebrating its 25th anniversary alongside lego star wars now this set would most likely include a handful of droids probably even more than five we're looking at the six to eight region and this gift with purchase though it is a may 4th gift with purchase would be running from may 1st and running alongside it we are expected to get another non-brick one similar to the venita gift with purchase that we got at the end of last year around september when the ucs venita come out this one is meant to also be the patch and keychain combo that we saw for that and is likely to be r2d2 in the new star wars lego logo we've got on all the boxes for the 25th anniversary of lego we're not quite sure what the keychain would be but it also likely be very similar to the patch or at least something to go along with it so perhaps we could even get a 25th anniversary of lego and also see that 25th anniversary of phantom menace which everyone skipped over but it was in my very first polybag video for the AAT which again is behind the mic so perhaps I need to move that next time but it would be really nice to see both logos in this set as we've already got the other Phantom Menace gift we've purchased that is rumoured this is definitely going to sell just as well and will definitely have a higher threshold than the other one but it'd be nice to see both Lego Star Wars and Phantom Menace included in this gift with purchase. Now, besides all of the sets coming out March 1st, I think we've covered everything in this video. Let me know what you are looking forward to down in the comments below. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe so we can hit 700 just in time for March and stick around for more awesome Lego content. May the bricks be with you always.